Ready? All right, thank you. Uh, Coach, I'll be quick. Thanks, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, Karch Kirai after the three to one win over Canada. Um, I have a few questions from the specific to the general. Uh, one, you guys made zero unforced errors in the entire first set, which I don't know if I've ever seen before statistically, and just a very clean game overall. Is that a, a specific tactical emphasis pre-game, or is that just a product of all the good training that your team's been doing? Uh, we haven't actually had much time for this group to work together because some people like Catherine Plummer had a fantastic season with Imoko Caneliano and won the Champions League in Europe. And so uh, the people who played in that match didn't get back in our gym until the middle of week one while we were with a group in Brazil. So uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at the... Uh, note you made of zero enforced errors. Typically, we don't play to have none. If, if we're not missing any serves, we're probably not serving tough enough. So we will uh, for sure tolerate a certain amount of errors, but uh, that, that didn't hurt in us trying to beat a very good Canada team, team that's been playing great this year. Credit to Coach Shannon Windsor and their, and their whole team. They're on a mission to qualify. Yes, they are. A lot on the line for Canada, certainly. And I'm, I'm glad you brought up Catherine Plummer in the season that she just had because that Corneliano team this year was unbelievable. We've been saying on our show that they, they won more trophies this year than they lost matches. Exactly. Which is remarkable. So how closely are you following your individual players' club performances and how much, if at all, does that influence kind of where you see their games upon entering your gym whenever it is that they get back? We follow things very closely, um, partially because we would like to name our Olympic team or select our roster as soon as possible, which means people might only play a few matches with USA. That's not enough to make a decision on, and so we would be unwise to make a decision on two or three matches. And so we have to look at a bigger body of work, a much bigger body of work, and that's the professional body of work and last year's work with USA and previous seasons. Uh, obviously, the fresher stuff counts more, but uh, professional is very important, and our players, uh, everybody in our program knows that that counts for a lot. And then somebody like uh, Jordan Larson who, or Jordan Poulter, who did not play professionally for a couple of very different reasons, uh, know that these are their chances to um, rack up performance uh, and um, kind of make their case to make our team better and be considered for the, uh, for the Olympic roster. And they've been doing a nice job so far. So with your team being in the position that you are, which is already qualified, what is the balance for you between using the Volleyball Nations League as sort of a training ground to help you decide a very difficult decision to cut your roster down to 12 to go to Paris versus maybe focusing on or worrying about whatever it is, the results of matches and the tournament finish for the VNL? I'm sure it's different for every coach. How is that for you personally? Well, we're playing to win uh, any given lineup we put out on the floor. We're playing to try to win the next point at least 51% of the time. And if we do that, we're going to be in decent shape. Um, but yes, these opportunities are important, not just for trying to win points and win sets and win matches, but also to help us with, uh, with decisions. Uh, really important decisions for the Olympic roster. And we would like to um, get some semblance of that team together. Uh, in, some, in some VNLs, we rotate rosters and we have a different starting roster every, uh, different starting lineup every time. We want to do less of that this year, play more consistently and and try to get the cohesion that we'll need to try to battle the world, not only as VNL unfolds, but at the Paris Olympics. And in a similar vein, I'll end with this. What, in this week in Arlington, what are the things that would define a successful week for your team, whether it's results or learnings that you get or whatever it is, uh, what does success this week look like to you? I think it's improving each day and each match. Uh, we're not always going to play clean volleyball, but we love the opponents here. Canada pushed us hard as they played a great week one also. 
uh, and then Bulgaria, Poland, and Turkey on consecutive days. So it's going to be a gnarly one, and that's all we could hope for is we're going to be get very uh, tested and pushed, and that's what happens at the Olympics. So we need a lot of that. Thank you very much, Coach. Very well said. Best of luck the rest of the week. We're looking forward to watching it, and I don't envy some of the decisions you have to make coming up in the next few weeks. Thank you. Appreciate <laughs> Thanks, it. Coach.